9P157 Chrysantima S multi-purpose, self-propelled, anti-tank guided weapon system was developed as a launch platform for the 9M123 Chrysantima missile. It is built by KBM Engineering Design Bureau and entered service with the Russian Army in 2005. It is designed to detect and destroy the existing and future main battle tanks, armored vehicles, low-flying aerial targets, lightweight surface targets, and field fortifications, including steel shelters and bunkers, in both day and night under all weather conditions. It offers high rate of fire and is protected against electronic countermeasures. This vehicle only needs a crew of two with two Chrysantima missiles in a ready-to-fire state. Reloading operations can be done automatically under armor protection. Although the 9P157 uses a BMP3 chassis, newer missile, and dual guidance mode its mission and design philosophy is similar to the older 9P149 Sturm S tank destroyer. This tank destroyer is based on the BMP-3 chassis but is not fitted with a turret. Instead, the troop compartment is filled with a twin-round retractable pedestal launcher which is connected to an automatic loader. The 9P157 has an optical sight with laser, for SACLO's guidance of the laser-guided version of the 9M123 missile. Additionally, a retractable millimeter wave radar is mounted for detecting targets and guiding the radar version of the anti-tank missile. Armor penetration of heat round is 1100 to 1200 millimeters rolled homogeneous armor. Chrysantima S system features 9M123 and 9M123F supersonic anti-tank guided missiles with a firing range between 400 meters to 6 kilometers and an altitude of 3 kilometers above sea level. 9M123 missile has tandem high explosive anti-tank warhead, whereas the 9M123F missile is fitted with a high explosive warhead. The canister missile measures 2.3 meters long and weighs 62 kilograms. It carries 15 missiles of which two are ready to fire. The 9M123 missile is able to destroy even the most modern tanks and has a maximum range of 6 kilometers, reportedly the vehicle may engage two targets at once, possibly only when using radar-guided missiles. The two modes of guidance allow for operation in dense ECM environments. Radar guidance mode is more deadly as most MBTs are equipped with laser warning receivers only and lack radar warning ones. The launching of both missiles on the same target will also help to defeat the active protection system. Firing rate is up to 4 missiles per minute. Missiles are launched in a sequence when the combat vehicle doesn't move and two missiles from the launcher can be simultaneously guided to two different targets. This system is operated under full armor protection, with missiles being reloaded automatically. The BMP-3 chassis with steel armor protect the crew from small arms fire and shell splinters. Over the frontal arc, it may also resist heavy machine gunfire. An NBC system is fitted as standard. The tracked BMP-3 chassis allows for good all-terrain mobility with engine located low down at the very rear of the hull with the hydro-mechanical transmission. Chrysantima is powered by a UTD, 29M 10-cylinder 4-stroke liquid-cooled diesel engine developing 500 horsepower coupled to a hydro-mechanical transmission with four forward and two reverse gears. The vehicle retains the full amphibious capability of the standard BMP-3 armored infantry fighting vehicle, it is being propelled in the water at a speed of 10 km per hour by two water jets mounted at the rear of the hull. Although Chrysantima S is a new-looking platform, it will serve the same role, as previous Strum S tank destroyer had. The major issue is it can only fire anti-tank missiles, there is no provision for secondary weapons. As a result, it can only be used where targets are to be engaged at long ranges and its role is typically specialized. Another problem is that it does not have fire and forget missiles, until the missile hits the target the gunner has to keep lock on target leaving vehicle prone to counter fire from enemy. Further, only a few units are in service to date with Russian ground forces. Export potential of this vehicle is extremely low, as it can serve only one role that is to engage targets with missiles. Modern Army's requirements are multipurpose platforms that can serve in different battlefield environments.